Hey there, in this lesson, we're gonna do agility ladders. So what's an agility ladder? Well, it looks like this. Now, if you don't have a ladder like this, it's okay, and you do not need one this long. You can use the flooring that already exists where you are, or you could create your own with something like socks. Maybe if you're allowed to go outside, you can use chalk on the ground. And just make sure you get permission before you create your own ladder. When doing ladder drills, you need to think of a few things. One is you're gonna mostly stay up on your toes. Two, you wanna avoid stepping on the ladder. You're trying to step in or possibly beside them. Three, use your arms for balance. Balance means you're not falling over, you're staying upright and you're able to do what you're asked to do, okay? Your arms are naturally gonna move in a way that helps your body stay balanced for the most part. Each skill or drill we're gonna do for a certain amount of time. In the last 10 seconds, you're gonna try to go faster, but you also want to maintain your balance, do it correctly and avoid stepping on the ladder. At the end of this skill, you're gonna get a short little break. And when the break is over, you'll know. Brayden will cue you in when you need to be ready to go for the next skill, all right? Let's do this. First thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna walk through it and we're gonna show different emotions. So you're gonna hear a word and you're gonna act how you think that emotion should be. Confident. You're just walking through one foot in a square at a time. Happy. Angry. Surprise. Hurt. Billy. Seconds. Time for speed! So, why do agility ladders? Well, in PE class, we like to focus on things that help you with both your mind and your body, your health. Now, specifically, agility ladders can help with many different things, but right now during this video, we're gonna focus on your balance speed, and your quickness. All right, next up, we're gonna do something that's a little bit tricky. We're gonna go backwards. So you're gonna focus on staying on your tiptoes and trying to keep your balance. It looks like this. And when we're doing it, start with the foot that's closest to the video, the camera, your screen, and when you turn around, you'll do the same thing. So I'm turning around and now I'll start with this one. Try really careful not to touch any part of the ladder. that help you with balance. Here are a few examples. Next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna step sideways. We're gonna go that way and then we'll come back. And you're gonna step to the side and then together. Side, together, side, together. Kind of being a little sneaky.
what is speed? Hmm. Well, when you think of speed, you can think of how fast your vehicle goes, a boat, a plane, a train, a bike. Now, with a vehicle specifically, if you're riding in the car and you're inside of a town, you're going probably a slower speed. If you're outside of a town or on like a major highway, you probably are going a faster speed. All right, now we're gonna jump. Remember, jumping is with two feet. So you're just gonna take two feet and you're gonna jump forward. When you get to the end, we're gonna turn around and keep jumping forward during this one. Ten seconds. How fast can you go? Now quickness. Quickness has to do with your ability to be able to react to something, to switch your position when you're moving, and it's related to speed as well. So how fast can you do something? Let's think. You know, like when you're asked to like pick up your room, how quick can you clean that room of yours? Maybe it's already clean. If not. I have a little bit of a challenge for you. This time we're gonna be jumping in and out of the ladder. So I'm gonna start lined up with my ladder and I'm actually gonna jump right outside of the first square. Then I'm gonna jump into it and then I'm gonna go up and over like this, okay? So I'm stopping it right now to give you an idea, but it's gonna look like this. So I'm jumping in, and then I'm jumping out and up. In, out and up. Go ahead and join me right now. Agility ladders, that is what this is called. There's a synonym for that, which means something that you can call it, that means exact same thing. It can also be called a speed ladder. Have you ever called it anything else? Okay, we're gonna give you one last minute to do what you wanna do. Remember, safety first. Go slow to start, and if you get it really well, go faster, all right? You do you, go for it.
Great job today. I hope you had fun doing agility letters. Now, what you should do is rewatch this video, do it with us again, and see if you can go just a little bit faster. Bye for now.